so I got in last night, yesterday actually. I left about, I don't know, 3.45 in the morning maybe. So I got here by lunchtime. Just trying to get a big uh, jump on things. I like to get everything set up before the rest of the guys come. Get the food packed away in the fridge. Sometimes Mike's with me. And then uh, everything's ready. We can sit down and relax. So I got here yesterday about noon. I pulled in and these uh, guests came out on the front porch <laughs> staring at me like, who the heck are you? So I put it together real quickly and wished them a happy vacation and came up here to the cabin. Building this outside kitchen here, outdoor kitchen, the uh, tin cantina, and this spot right here needs a table. The idea is that this cabin is 230 square feet. It'll sleep three. Well, <laughs> three bed spots. You could sleep 12 in here if you wanted. But I thought it needed a little extension to the living space, and this is good for, you know, in Kentucky here, probably eight months out of the year. So where I am here, I think needs something. It needs like a table and chairs, and I think I got a guy that can help me. Hey! Where the hell did you come from? It's the only trick I got. I've been holding on to these for a couple months for you. So this is your picnic table kits that we designed. Quarter inch plate, all laser cut. All you gotta do is bolt on some two by 10 treated and, and no one's stealing these things. They're freaking heavy. Yeah, right, they ought to hold the deck down. Yeah. How do they make these? You sent me some ideas of what you wanted. Mm -hmm. I kind of took that, I created a file on my AutoCAD program, Fusion 360. And then this is too big for my little operation here. So I sent the file off to a fab shop up in Northwest Indiana. They use a fiber laser to cut all these out and they got a big break that they made all the breaks and and that was really it and all this stuff is i mean they laser cut all the holes yeah. and stuff nobody's yeah. running a drill on any nope. of this stuff nope and with the lasers there's like no draws there's no cleanup and then we have these pre-bent gussets right here these are the the braces just so it doesn't sway braces yeah. on there whatever it is all right well thanks i'm gonna blast these off to kentucky i'll send you a picture when i get them you know you should just come have a beer on the table when they're done i would love to all right Let's get out of here. Ah. I forgot the tables. I moved my chair. Okay, let's try it again. Forgot, forgot my tables. <laughs> Let's put it together. Well, I think I got all the things to make this happen. It's gonna be a little tricky to get these. Get the first board on. That's not right. Because these things are really heavy and they don't wanna stand up. Even a fat finger day. side like that kind of tie these three together I'm not sure it's necessary you know these aren't going anywhere and I'm not doing anything for the benches which is where people will be sitting but I got them so let's screw them together I just don't want these getting all off from each other this take me about 10 minutes Let's 
see three inch screws. I want to put these on a little bit of an angle. So they don't poke through and get somebody in the knee. Sympathetic to knee issues. Well, it ain't gonna blow away. Turned out pretty nice. I put these ends very close to the end. This picnic table is only six and a half feet wide. That is the shortest I could get it and not have these center pieces crisscrossing or overlapping. And I think it fits perfect here. Much longer it'd be in the way of traffic pattern. I'm gonna have a grill right here. So I got it kind of shoved up against the wall. That may change and we can bring it out, but I think it fits this space perfect. This is treated lumber. It's uh, called cedar tone. They have it at Menards by us. It's brown instead of green. I think it goes well with the rusty metal, even though the rest of the deck is green too treated but it ought to outlast the rest of the deck so I'm happy with it doesn't move it's got you know pads on the bottom or, or end folds out like the benches in the top so that you could put like a treated runner so if you're putting it on concrete or something or just in the dirt you know like I'm going to do with the other calving didn't want the legs to rot out you could buy them a little time and have a pad you could change if you wanted to like drag it around the deck here this thing's heavy I don't see people moving this around they're definitely not you know taking it down to the fire pit or something because good lord you'd need a forklift to get it there anyways I think that's about it for this a special thanks to Kyle Spicer of Spicer Designs for helping me with this uh, this was a fun project I think uh, I gotta put one together down there at the other cabin and I want the other one and two more cabins to build in the bathhouse so there may be more of these in the future maybe we won't make them so heavy thanks again for watching guys and we'll see you on the next one <laughs>